Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Previously, we paralyzed our best friend. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! There's no way they would be allowed to walk by a bunch of, there's no way that the Coast Guard or whoever else would be like swarming that area trying to get the wheels away. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. A dead whale? Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Yeah, that's one way to put it. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Huh. None taken. So no matter what, Chloe's life is a tragedy. Whether she dies in the bathroom or <laughs> gets paralyzed, her dad's dead, it sucks. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water?
Is this the garage? I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Oh, I should keep her waiting by looking around. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, <laughs> I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Uh-huh. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, you'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Oh, hell yeah. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. <laughs> you look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Oh, what did she ask me to do? Oh. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Good choice, Blade Runner. One of my favorites. As if you couldn't tell from my avatar. <laughs> However, that does not sound like Blade Runner. <laughs>
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? No. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Yes, that is the garage. Oh, terrific. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Being around you and Joyce again is... So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Stand. It's so weird to see Victoria talk to her like that. Um, so this is her room. It's just empty. Sad. I'm morphine injector. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Yeah, I'm sure. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Nothing wrong with getting a little morphine in you. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, 
Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Nothing but medical supplies. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Grab that photo album. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student, gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fun. Even if it wasn't another reality. I forget. What did she just say she needed? Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. <sighs> Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. What am I at? Shit, can I just rewind? Or <laughs> rather, I was the first time. It was before or after the morphine. That must be her mighty morphine machine. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. to be in her room. Smart. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Choices of food coupon boss. I dated a girl once that was like into couponing. We went grocery shopping together one time and that was the last time because that was ridiculous. There were so many coupons, and I hated every second of them. People behind us were like, "Oh, coupons!" <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> but it's right on Despite top. everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Oh, she's, she's 
She's not gonna do much skating these days. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. This part of this is so sad. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? Oh, God. I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Oh boy. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. <laughs> I don't know is an option. Uh. Sure. This is not an easy. Excuse my decisive Chloe, decision. This was not. I'll an easy just decision. drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Yes, please. Yeah, that sucks. William was a nice guy. I don't remember last time, but it just gave me a like a pass or something. Can I just do that again? I clearly don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, 
Thank you. <laughs> Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me! That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe... Boy, I got some bad news for you, Dad. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... What? I'm just, I'm so glad oh, you're yeah. here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and... So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. 
3 beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's their power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't be... What am I doing again? They like just tell me and I forget it. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Mosey along? It wouldn't let me go downstairs. Oh, I can go far enough, I guess. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Uh, I made the wrong decision last episode. I should have went with David. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Excuse me? At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Twin Peaks. I didn't get a picture of her. Score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. 
I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel, plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Ooh. Hot oh. floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin. It's been so long since I've seen you. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. I hope Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. Nathan was suspended, but... He should still be on campus. I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. That was actually a looking like a guess. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Hmm. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Can I 
has art. It's all good in the woods. Prescott's rule this town. This can only be Nathan's room. Room one one one. Yo, we are really just saying fuck everything. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. This is so weird. Why does this stuff look like this? Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She's, yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This, wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Oh, Jesus. Nathan is one sick fuck. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What is he? He's a sick guy. Wow, oh, fuck. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Max, I got this. Warren again. Get the fuck out of my face. <sighs> you are so fucking dead. <sighs> Get off me, bro. <sighs> <sighs> Stay out of it. Let Warren do his like thing. People, huh? Yeah. Like Max. Go off. Like Kate. Like me. Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Yeah! Get off me! What a Please. pussy. Please stop! Please stop. He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! 
Please hurry. Yes, we have to go. Bitch boy. Who's the bitch now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. Nah, fuck but that. Let it go. Scary. See you, bitch. <laughs> Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. It's a weird thing to say, but go you. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. <laughs> I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. You should get that gun. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. Seems, uh, pretty so unlike. let's play this cool, okay? Just oh. pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. 
No. <laughs> okay. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? <laughs> you already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, what Frank. The hell? Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Oh my god! Holy god. shit. You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... Just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... Just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. What the fuck? He took that... really well. He took Shit. it on the chin. This could have gone way worse, but... Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Ah, well, what's the yes, most Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. Yeah, we ain't got time to rewind. I better focus on this board and start tying... Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. <sighs> no. This is not working. Those clues are not related. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Looks like this isn't the right combination. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code name. Yes, the game is on. Now. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. 
that a if Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. This is like goddamn math. I suck. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Max, there's no logical link yeah. between those clues. All right, so Nathan is rot. So, rot, it's that one for sure. And no rot here. Oh. oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There's a lot of numbers in here. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Nine, five, three, five. But those numbers might be useful. This is like goddamn math. I, this is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. Those clues are not related. Damn. I, I, must, I wonder if there's any important dates or numbers in his school file. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. How did we do it? If we got David's clues, we got, right? No. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spark. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay, this is just sad, Max. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see. This makes no sense, Max. This is like goddamn math. I suck. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. And that's all she wrote. Well, I like that. There's no way I didn't have Nathan that. in here. Great. 
Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, that is as a usual. Truck. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? So it's uh, Twilight ZN? Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Okay, this is just sad, Max. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate now. This makes no sense, Max. <sighs> no. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on- Nope. Maybe I should try to link other posts oh, so together. Okay. So it's like SF. Okay, let's yeah. find out whose car this is. Oh yes, there we go. now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to... Let's start hacking. code what was circled one 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 <sighs> yeah I knew it wouldn't be that easy <laughs> all right so bum, bum. So it could be zero eight is that two five? You locked it, dumbass. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to. Oh, Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. Uh, he didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. All right, so now we know where the parties is. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find this? out where Nathan took Kate after the party.
Yeah, that's right. That's you. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. I don't know about the front door. It's just a big hole in the wall. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. Look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Nothing here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. That would not serve you well. Just rotting wood. So many haystacks, so few needles. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. 
So many haystacks, so few needles. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. No more Chloe would make a great detective too. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Nothing here. Oh, come on. I feel like I've searched everywhere. Old. Old. Whoa. Oh, shit. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. I need help. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. I mean to climb down. Tell me if you need any help. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. You mean like this? Driver strikes again. What will we find in here? Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course.
This bunker is so surreal. Uh, looks like two, four, five. <sighs> Wrong code. Four, two, five. Oh, think, think. Five. Two, four. You can do it, Max. Okay, so it's locked. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Five, four, two, hey. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Sesame. Now my fingerprints are all over this strange vault. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Oh shit, that's the place that we saw the, uh, what's it called? Boulders. Uh-huh. Ooh, Rachel and Kate. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. And Victoria? Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Oh, Look, shit. The next one says Kate. She's a, uh, oh, target. no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. We're just gonna leave? We didn't even look at the rest of this shit. Oh my god. Rachel. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Your setup. I'm so sorry. I'm so 
loved her so much. How can she be dead? Why would they kill her? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Oh, that's rough. <laughs> sad episode. <laughs> oh, it's not over. We're still going. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, good. ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Off half a beer. <laughs> Hi, can I take your phone or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the vortex. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank you. 
thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. I said Courtney? Another two shall we. Club, which you're not, and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Impressed by this VIP. Are you mental? You can't come in.
be here tonight. You did hey. worse than my dad. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. That's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to help. Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow. Welcome. Can I talk to you for a second? Max! All right. I'll talk after you shake that thing. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? What is wrong with you? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than you got, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen him. That's Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see him? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I can show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't let me hurt. Dang. That was way more exciting than the games. Catch you later, Max. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. 
Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. It's hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at the party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around you. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious notes, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this 
is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. At one moon? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Max, please hurry. I don't even know where I'm going. Why am I whispering? Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. How was that? Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. Have to be invisible, literally shining a light. Chloe, come over here, quick. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Nathan, who did this? Son of a bitch. You bastard. <laughs> 